I say good morning in Halfling. Uh, I know Halfling, right? Yeah. Yes. So <laughs> I'll shout back, top, top of the morning to you. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, dwarf woman, Norda, leans forward and looks you dead in the eyes. I've known friends I grew up with who were carved down by your kin. Convince me why I shouldn't hang you tomorrow. I'm sorry for your loss. Um, where were your people from? Grimgolir. That's not where my clan's from. I had nothing to do with it. Uh, My clan operates far, far away, and... um, Where does your clan operate from? Um... I'm looking on the map. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Near the Felderwyn Tillage. That's not too far. Maybe we'll send some folks to pay a visit to your clan. You can. Feel free. I'll even tell you where they are. I, I'm no longer associated with them, and I can help you hunt them down if you'd like. Uh, Archivist, does this resonate with you as well? Does this check out lore-wise? I don't know what the fuck you do. The Archivist just decided. Um, I believe, based on um, what they've stated, that at least it's consistent, though I'm a bit confused as to the demeanor of the goblin, um, but uh, it's not unheard of to have a goblin kin turn against their own. Uh, there have been a number of historic individuals of various monstrous races who have uh, been beneficial members of society. Uh, you said that one of the members of their group is named Dolan? That's right, yeah. If it comes up, no big. Just, can you find out that guy's last name? <laughs> Dolan's last name? Yeah. Sure, any reason why? I know a guy named Dolan Tversky. Tversky? I don't really know T- Tversky. Tversky. I don't know. It doesn't really mean. I don't. I don't know. I, I've heard. A, just find out his last name. Sure. Is this guy <laughs> from where you're from or something? No, old old mate of yours? No, no, no. Just have something of his. Tversky. Yeah. Would just, he know you if I was like, hey, no, a friend of ours no, named Nate? No, 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 no. Would not know me. You are charmed by Molly. What does that mean? Uh, Meaning charmed. You, that you, means uh, you're very you're very friendly and amiable, and you know take his advice and suggestions like a very dear friend. Yeah. Oh, just probably just tell him what you were really looking for. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking for your letter to the Solstress Academy. My letter, but not why. I want it. What for? That's fine. No one's in trouble. I I want to give it to Caleb. Well, why? What what would Caleb do with it? What you would do with it. Study, learn magic, become more powerful. I know he has the potential to be very powerful. You do. And I need him to be. Why not? Why do you need him to be Powerful. So he can save me. What do you need to be saved from? So much. So much. But mainly, there's a lot of dangers in the world, and a lot of dangers for me, and especially in the closer we get to the north, I think. They don't like me up there. He can protect me. I think we can all do that. Absolutely. No. No. You can't. <clears throat> well, not, I hope you'll learn to trust us and rely on us like you do Caleb. We may not be as powerful as he is or has the ability to become, but certainly we can help you. Are you worried about something or someone in particular finding you? Mm. 
maybe. Yes, there's there's a few people that I'm worried about. But um no one specific where we're going. I just I just know that people are people people are always trying to get me. And I will I just wish I I need him to, I need his magic I need his magic t to be there for me when I when I when I need safety I need him I need him to live Would you give me the letter I could change your name on it to his name and then he could use it to get into the school and he could learn more powerful magic and then You know, he, he, he could change me. Change you? He could change this. You know so many spells and so many things. I, you're very, you're very strong. I'm, I'm continually impressed by you, I must say. How strong would you say you are? Just like on a scale of like one to 20. How do you mean, I'm not very strong, not. I, I do have um, things that I want to do with my life, and I, I, I mean to apply myself and study and find and knowledge. Is that the way you'll get even stronger, but through study and books? Yeah, that is the best way to do that for anyone. Would magical items help further your, uh, your abilities or... or, or um, that seems, blessings? That seems like an abstract question. I mean, there's certainly very useful things that can be found in this world. Uh, in heaven and earth, yeah. All right. Are you okay? Oh, I'm, I'm fine. I'm just, I'm fascinated yes. by, uh, by all things wizard, and, um, and I want you to succeed. That's all. I, <clears throat> I have great faith in you. I know you'll do great things, and I just want to help you get there. Well, thank you, friend. Sure. Yes. Anything, anything to help the cause. Uh, you count on Caleb to oh. keep you safe, right? To achieve greater things than you by yourself can achieve. Think how many things you could do with all of us by your side. I'm not saying you don't have to be selfish, and I'm not saying that you can't go after treasure and, and coin. There's a bit of a misconception here. Okay. Is there? Caleb and I have a very special relationship. It is that of a parent and a child. But I am the parent. You do understand that, correct? I protect him. He's my boy, and I keep him safe. I want him to thrive and get better and better and more powerful and stronger because he can achieve great things. When I found him, he was nothing. He was a scared little boy in the corner of a jail cell. And as we have gotten more comfortable, he has gotten more comfortable and come out of his shell. It's my job to protect him because I love him, and I am his protector. And do you think Not because he protects me. I do, I do enjoy seeing you get, get new spells and new, new skills. I haven't had a friend in a very long time. The last few months have been uh, <clears throat> unexpected. I think for me too. I've had more people throw rocks at me than conversations and it's nice it's you know what it's it's nice with them too they don't seem to mind that you know my teeth are a little people find that off-putting sometimes I don't. there are times I've, I've seen them other half orcs with the teeth the guy in Tusk Love had them. He did. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like it it's a trait that sort of exemplifies the rougher side of 
my race. So sometimes I wish I had them, and sometimes I'm, I'm glad I don't. Yeah, well, you know, for many of us, our early days are always with us. Yeah. So I understand. This is how you see yourself, right? I think it's how I'd like to see myself. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to cast Disguise Self and turn turn myself into looking just like a normal, uh, like a halfling little girl <coughs> and spend uh, just an hour at a cafe <coughs> just just having a lunch. Okay. And just being oh. being a normal person. Oh. Okay. <laughs> how much to get a package to Felderwin? To Felderwin, how big a package? Mm. Mm. I'll write <laughs> a note and I'll put in various <laughs> Various items. Okay. Like what? A uh, bunch of buttons. All, all right. the rings. Oh, Doorknob. Brass baby bottle. Fascinating. Yeah. Uh, all the ball bearings. All right. And the two bracelets. And some money. Okay. How much? Fifty. <laughs> 